Hi, boys and girls. Today, we're going to read a story about animal migration. Now, animals migrate for many reasons, and this book is going to tell us about some of those reasons. And the book is called Going Home, The Mystery of Animal Migration. And some of these animals are going to travel thousands of miles to get from one place to another place for those different reasons. And it's written by Marianne Burks, and it's illustrated by Jennifer DeRubio. Well, let's find out. Oh, here's our title page. Wow. These guys, we, they must be living in a cold place. I think you might know who they are and what they are, are doing. Going home, going home, we feel the urge to go. It's time for us to travel on. It's something we just know. Many of us look for food, others find a mate. And when the weather starts to change, there is no time to wait. I like how this picture gives us clues about the animals that we are going to see. We see different parts of the animals we're going to read about. Going home, going home, where I need to be. Somehow I will paddle on, swimming endlessly. From the ocean I will call, crawl up onto the shore, laying eggs on a beach where I've been before. Loggerhead turtles hatch from eggs that the mother buries on a sandy beach. They scurry into the ocean where they will live for many years. When the female is ready to lay eggs, she usually swims back to the same beach where she was born. Wow, I wonder how they remember, because the world's a really big place. What a great memory these turtles have. Going home, going home, dancing in the sky, waking from our winter sleep, it's time for us to fly. We rested in our family tree, filling every space, but now it's time to travel on and find another place. We know about this animal, don't we? We know that their resting trees were down in Mexico. Our friends, they had to, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go to Mexico. Well, this time we're starting at the other end. Monarch butterflies migrate south to keep warm when winter approaches. They rest closely together in a semi-dormant state, often on the very same trees their ancestors occupied the year before. In spring, they fly north again. Wow, so north, south, north, south, they just keep going. Going home, going home, I can find my way, navigating toward the coast where I used to stay. When it is cold, I have to move. I float near the shore until I found a warm lagoon where I could eat some more. So the manatees, they float around looking for warmer water. The warmer water is where they like to be. If it's too cold, they have trouble eating. So they need that uh, metabolism to be able to digest their food. So finding those warm waters, mm, nice and toasty. Going home, going home, I feel the time is near. I'm heading where I lay my eggs. I do it every year. I need to cross the wide blue sea, and then I'll eat my fill. Rapidly, I beat my wings, and I use my slender bill. So now we've got a hummingbird that migrates. Ruby-throated hummingbirds traveling between their winter and summer homes make an amazing non-stop crossing over the Gulf of Mexico. When they reach land, they eagerly drink the sweet nectar from flowers for the energy they need to continue on their journey. Wow, for such a teeny tiny little bird flying across the Gulf of Mexico, that's pretty far. So we're looking across here. Going home, going home, swimming wild and free. 
to rivers that are cool and clear from the salty sea. I leap, I splash, I charge upstream, swimming on and on. I have to reach my place of birth. It's where I go to spawn. And spawning is when they lay their eggs up there. The Pacific salmon lay eggs in freshwater streams. The tiny fish swim towards the salty ocean where they live for a few years until fully grown. Then they find the same river and battle their way upstream to their place of birth to lay their eggs. Wow. So from river to the ocean, live there, get big, and then travel back to the river again. That's a big migration. Going home, going home, looking down below. The season's here, the path is clear, and we're all set to go. Honking high in the sky, flying in a V, we soar together in a flock, saving energy. So they have their Vs. So the bird at the front uses a lot of energy because he's breaking the pathway through the air because air does actually provide some resistance. And then they'll change places. They'll each take a turn being that first bird. Canada geese fly together in a V formation, which creates a current of air that makes it easier for them to fly. They honk loudly to each other, kind of like a buddy system. That way they keep track of each other without looking around. Going home, going home, moving on our way, heading for some icy seas from a nice warm bay. Our babies swim beside us, staying close to shore, traveling up the coastline, 5,000 miles or more. So there's our California gray whales. They spend the winter near California, where the waters are warm, and northern Mexico. In spring, they start the long journey to the cold northern waters where there is plenty to eat. The mothers stay close to the coast to protect their babies from killer whales. Awesome. So they travel from the warm waters of their California and Mexico and then go all the way to the north where their food is plenty. And then when it gets too cold, they come back south again to those warm waters. Going home, going home, listen to the sounds. Our thundering herd is setting out to the vast carving grounds. The journey spans 2,000 miles, but we were born to run. We're on a treeless tundra now and feel the Arctic sun. So there are some places in the Arctic where there isn't snow and ice all year round. And this is the tundra area and that grass is going to come up and they're going to be able to eat their fill of grass and get nice and big and fat. Caribou gather in huge herds in winter in evergreen forests where there is some protection from the cold. In the spring, they move northward to the tundra to feed on lichens and other low growing plants and to give birth to their young. Look at those great big antlers. That must be pretty heavy on their heads, I would think. Going home, going home, I have the longest way. I travel all around the globe to see the light of day. I'm always moving north and south. I really love to fly. I nest up in the Arctic and dive for food supply. The Arctic Tern is the world's champion migrator. It travels over 20,000 miles every year to live in almost constant sunshine. In June and July, it enjoys almost constant sunshine in the Arctic summer. In December and January, it enjoys almost constant sunshine in the Antarctic summer. So it flies from the North Pole, the Arctic, to the South Pole, the Antarctic, and then back again to follow the seasons. That's quite the trip. Going home, going home, I never use the sky. 
I flap my wings in water, and that is how I fly. My mate will keep our baby warm while I feed in the sea, and then I'll waddle miles on ice to find my family. So we've got our emperor penguins. The emperor penguins fly through the water propelled by their flippers. They live mostly in water, but in winter they migrate inland onto ice where the female lays a single egg. Then she goes back to the ocean to feed while the egg is kept warm by the male. So mom goes back to the ocean and dad takes care of the egg. And then they'll switch after the winter. And here are some migratory routes. Going home, going home, by land, by sky, by sea. Our journey back from here to there is still a mystery. We have to move from place to place. You know the reasons now. Our genius is to know the way, and yours is to wonder, hmm, how? So here's the migration routes of some of these animals that we read about. So some have short migration paths, and others have very long migration paths. And now we know some of the reasons why food, temperature, and also reasons to have a mate and give birth to live young or get born from an egg if I'm a bird. Wow. And a fish. They get born from eggs too. So, yeah. And our friend the monarch, definitely for temperature. Uh, manatees going from temperature. Awesome. All right, scientists, so I want you to think about some of those animals that migrate and why do they migrate and then write about it in your journal. Have a good day, scientists.